for poor quality of service. You know, you cannot blame only destruction of uh, facilities. It's not too widespread. You know, poor qualities of service comes from poor planning from the operators. You know, and uh, MTM for one is the largest um, uh, service provider that we have, and um, I'm sure that with declining prices and uh, and uh, other factors, they fail to uh, plan adequately. And since I came, which is about more than one and a half years, I have been consulting with all of them to try to build new base stations, uh, expand whatever capacity they have. And I think that the, the process of uh, period of consultation, you know, is coming to an end. And now we have, we in NCC, we have gazetted a regulation, a new regulation for quality of service, which we have discussed with the service providers themselves. And soon we will be enforcing uh, the provisions of this regulation very, very soon. Yeah. And we are not discriminating whether it is MTN or Airtel or anything. If you don't meet our measured uh, uh, parameter, we will sanction you. Telecom operators in Nigeria also complain of multiple taxation. Now we know that the NCC recently set up a committee to look into this. Can you give us an update uh, what's going on in that area? Well, you know, multiple taxation is really an issue for the government. Uh, NCC, we are not a tax collection body at all, but we as regulators, we try to help. So we are going to dialogue with the entities that control taxation, that is the state governors, and so on and so That's why we set up this stakeholder uh, forum where it will be discussed. Um, and under this forum, we are going to dialogue with, with uh, state governments to explain to them uh, the provisions of tax in Nigeria. And that also, most importantly, that all these frivolous taxes you know, may have an effect of stalling the success of telephony industry in Nigeria. What is NCC's plan to revive the fixed line segment of the market? We know that you announced that you'd be issuing new licenses this year. Well, you know, if you listen quite closely to what NCC said, new fi the modern technology for fixed line rides on broadband. We cannot issue licenses for fixed line without, first of all, solving our broadband issues. You know. So we are about starting to solve our broadband issues. And after that, you know, in consonance and, and in harmony with broadband rollout, fixed line will also be rolled out. When it comes to wireless broadband networks in Nigeria, operators say that the NCC might be delaying the rolling out of this technology. What is your strategy in this area? For 2015, I'm talking about specific spectrum. That is the 2.6. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that many advanced countries even hasn't, they haven't offered that 2.6 gigahertz. And, and we, just like other advanced countries, are planning this you know, uh, frequency band, trying to reform it from the broadcasters that are currently you know, holding them. And we, our projections is that we won't complete this until 2015. And when we have this spectra in hand, then we'll be able to license them out. Now, when it comes to the CDMA space, uh, we hear they're not doing so well. In fact, Zoom Mobile, one of the operators, recently shut its doors. Are their days numbered? Well, we do not actually license technologies. We license services. And CDMA, as it is now, is competing with GSM. All of them have universal, universal access, uh, access licenses. You know. One of the disadvantages the CDMA companies had was that when they came to market, they were not well capitalized. They didn't have a lot of money. They had to borrow a lot. And, be, and they, were, they suffered under the burden of high interest rates. And the, I think what, this is one of the major problems they had. You know. Now, some of them, by market forces, have 
you know, they, they are having difficulty, they are struggling. And I can tell you that there are new interests in that area, in the frequencies they are holding. And I hope that soon, you know, there will be um, a reinvigoration of those frequency band. Probably not uh, with regard to CDMA, with regard to newer and higher value uh, services.